Good morning and thank you for joining. A warm welcome to day one of our Fair Africa Fortnight that we have themed Buy Local, Build Africa. The purpose of this campaign is to highlight the positive impact that local business has on our economy and how we as consumers can help change the socio-economic status of our countries by supporting locally, ethically and fairly trading businesses. Today we hear from Peter Swart, co-founder of Turkel Trading, a fair trade producer organization in Cape Town, South Africa. He will chat through the positive impact on social economies presented by adopting the fair trade model. We will then show you how Global Mamas, a fair trade producer organization in Ghana, has implemented the 10 principles of fair trade in their organization. As a culmination to the Fortnite campaign, we are hosting our first ever virtual walkathon themed Strides for Africa on the 2nd of October. Register now. Details will show at the end of the live stream. Add your voice to the cause to support local businesses and build African economies. Enjoy. <laughs> This is my town. Let me show you around. This is my house. I live here with my little brothers and sisters. This is my grandma. She's a very beautiful woman. I love her so much. And that is grandpa. He used to be a fisherman until the fish stopped coming. The river was invaded by waterways, among other reasons. So Grandpa could not make money of the fish business anymore. Meet my mom! She is a superhero. Together with the men from our town, Mom created an opportunity from the waterways. Mom and the women harvest the waterways to earn a living. They lay them in the sand to dry or chop them and send them to global mammoths. At a workshop, many young women like me process the raw water with into paper. Look how amazing the product looks. The other women also weave the dry up waste into different products. Sometimes, the seamstresses add recycled fabrics to make the products more attractive. So you see, my mom and the other women from our town are taking advantage of this problem to create an opportunity. My name is Rita and I'm part of this change. People often ask, what is fair trade? Fair trade is a way of doing business that puts people and planet first. Unlike conventional business, where the main aim is profit at almost any cost. Fair trade is not a charity. In fact, far from it. It is about long-term partnerships based on mutual support and development through trade. Fair trade is a global movement that includes different organizations and many people who believe in fair trade. Everyone in this global movement has one aim, to connect producers and consumers and spread the awareness of fair trade in their communities, their cities and their governments. WFTO is one of the original fair trade organizations, which means it has had a number of decades of practicing what it preaches. And in many ways, the conversation is only just beginning. WFTO is a membership organization. This means organizations or companies who call themselves fair trade enterprises 
and believes in what we stand for apply to become members. Why do enterprises join WFTO? Because this is where they feel they belong. We are their tribe and they want to be our tribe. They want to be part of a democratically run global community of mission-led fair trade enterprises. We own our label. So once you are a guaranteed member of WFTO, you own your label. And as long as you do what it takes to keep your membership in good standing, you can freely use the label on all your products. WFTO's verification system is based on a common sense approach that is in a way unique in its simplicity. It is grounded in the principles of continuous improvement and as such, it is as much a business development tool as it is a verification system. We are all part of a real grassroots community. Members support and trade with each other, speak up collectively, meet annually or as often as COVID regulations and finances allow, and collaborate at trade fairs. Becoming a member of WFTO means becoming visible to buyers and consumers. Globally, there are more and more conscious consumers, people who vote for better business with every cent they spend. WFTO checks that we honor our fair trade claims. They checked so our customers don't have to. Hi, my name is Ryan and I live with my mom in a small village in Tema, Ghana. She is the most talented weaver in the village, very good with beadwork and makes beaded mats, bracelets and necklaces. My mom worked with a small group of women selling their crafts and most traders never gave them a free price for their hard work, so they didn't earn much. I rarely got to play with her since she spent most of her time at work. Even with long working hours and coming home late, my mom could still not afford to pay school fees and we could go for days without a meal. One day, my mom got a job at Fair Trade Enterprise, a local business that recycles and upcycles plastic and glass bottles. When she started, she wasn't credited, but they trained her and now she works as part of the design team there. The vision of the business is to take extra care for the environment by turning what is considered trash into something valuable to society. They make amazing products like shovel bags, glass lamps and glass beads. While working there, she discovered that there is a need for more plastic bottles and she informed people from our community about this opportunity. Mommy's employer became aware of the number of people involved and decided to talk to them about ways to improve the community. Months later, they even put up Georgia tanks for us around the village, and now we have closer water sources. My mom attended more staff meetings and found out that the organization is a WFTO verified business. She learned that the business has an inclusive approach to decision making, and that she'd be consulted when the business has to make decisions that will impact her directly. Once when there was a change in the production process, and the producer's meeting was called to find out if a new process increased the amount of labor and if it was required for the task payment to be increased, a process that was welcomed by the producers. My mom learned lots of good stuff about WFTO and the 10 principles members needed to apply in their workspaces, especially her role in ensuring that work is produced on time. This ensures that the buyer can in turn keep to his lead time too so consumers are satisfied. The buyer will continue buying from Fair Trade Enterprise because it always delivers on time. Some of the profit the business makes is directed towards producers to improve the quality of life. So now my mom can afford to pay school fees, get basic needs and even save some money. At the Fair Trade Enterprise, all the employees are treated equally, paid fairly and there's no gender discrimination. They are also very strict on child and forced labor, so you and me don't work there. My mom says she feels safe at Fair Trade Enterprise because emergency kits are easily accessible and they have all been trained on how to use them to ensure their safety. Every few months, the Fair Trade Enterprise management also organizes events where health officers 
come in and talk about infectious diseases and viruses, or friendly lawyers teaching them about their rights. All this to improve the employees' lives. Just last week, the Fair Trade Enterprise organized a community outreach and asked my mom to speak on fair trade. I was proud of her and invited all my friends to listen. Everyone needs to know the work and impact of fair trade organizations. Fair trade enterprises exist because we believe we are making a difference by the way we do business, in the lives of producers, trading partners and customers, and equally important, to the health of the planet. As members of WFTO, we have the 10 principles of fair trade that we use to test whether we really are doing what we say we're doing, putting people and planet first. Creating opportunities for disadvantaged producers. It means we are committed to reducing poverty through trade. Transparency and accountability. It means we are transparent in our management and commercial relations and accountable to all our stakeholders. Fair trade practices. It means we trade with concern for the well-being of small producers and do not maximize profit at their expense. Fair payment. We commit to fair payment, which means a negotiated price which provides fair pay to the producers and can also be sustained by the market. Ensuring no child labor and forced labor. We have to honor the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child and ensure that there is no forced labor in our workplace or those of our suppliers. Commitment to non-discrimination, gender equity and women's economic empowerment. This means exactly what it says. We are not allowed to discriminate on the basis of gender, sexual orientation, race, religion or political affiliation, etc. Ensuring good working conditions. We have to provide a safe and healthy working environment for employees or members. Providing capacity building. One of the only ways to build more resilient individuals is through continuous training and skills development. This is why we commit to developing the capabilities of our employees and producers. Promoting fair trade. We try as often as we can to raise awareness of the aims of fair trade and fair trading through honest marketing and social media campaigns. And most importantly, to use the WFTO guaranteed label on our products, so people know when they choose our products, our fair trade claims are real. Respect for the environment. This means we undertake to carefully look at all our operations and aim to get each process as environmentally sound as possible. This is a high spot look at the 10 principles. If you want to know more, go to WFTO.com. There they are described in a lot more detail.